Hello everyone, my name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. I run an online store, uh, chemistry.com. I'll leave a link down here. I also do tarot card readings as well. So if you're interested in scheduling a reading, I do them in person, or you want one online, I'll do those as well. Uh, but And I'll leave a link down here uh, where you can contact me through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can contact me uh, through those, or you can contact me through here, you know, so, yeah, but I want to talk to, uh, talk a little bit, uh, about this book I read, I was looking through all the books I have read, and come to find out, I've read more than one book, I, I don't know how I missed that, but I read them pretty fast, so that probably happened, so, yeah, I read, and I don't remember doing a report on Jambalaya, and there's some information already on YouTube about this book if you want to research it. You know, uh, my purpose of making these videos so you can get familiar with working with the ancestors and getting familiar with uh, your own African roots, your own, you know, your ancestral roots and learn about the deities that they called upon that aided them, you know, because they had uh, spiritual ties and uh, commitments to their own deities because more than likely their deity was their ancestor and that's just how that works uh once you understand uh the spiritual concept our spiritual concepts okay but i thought this book was really good uh because uh, she gives a lot of ritual in this book she gives you uh de you know really in-depth ways of how to set up things how to create your ritual this is a candle ritual that she shows you how to form uh and i think uh yeah she's showing you how to make a oya charm for oya how to make these charms and stuff so she's very in-depth she's really uh She's very good on that. She made some similarities between Oshun and Azerly, Azerly, and uh, I, I always seen that connection and that energy in both of those energies. Okay, and she talks about Oya. She talks about all the uh, all the major uh, Orisha. Okay, she talks about main uh, the main or Orisha. Uh, what is this? She gives you, uh, you know, because remember that that uh, Vudun and Orisha had hit upon a Catholicism. Okay, so she gives you uh, the saint in relation to uh, the African deities, and she lists the graph on here for you. This is this book is really good for you newbies. Uh, if you're just trying to find out, you know, about your African roots and and the origin of uh, of some of the mainstream religions, because that's where they all spawn from. They spawn from us, you know, African spirituality, and some of these traditions have been added to uh, their religions. Some of these some of these concepts, but not fully all of them. Uh, she tells you how to t uh, set up an indoor altar, an uh, altar for a nine-day ceremony. You know, she gives you everything on how to set it up. So if you're interested in trying to uh, to a more basic altar where you put your family on there, you know, she gives you the, the whole, the full diagram. If you're not familiar with altars, this is a good book. This is a good book for a, a, a newbie. Uh... And the name of the book is Prayer to, I mean, I'm sorry. The name of the book anyway is, uh, I'm sorry, I got that sidetracked. It's Jambalaya, The Natural Woman's Book. So if you're a woman and you're getting into this, but I I, I looked at this as well because a man would benefit from this, from this too. I don't think it's just a woman book, but it has some stuff in here that a man would be interested in practicing too. So don't let the, you know, the labels fool you. Uh, she gives you uh, prayers to the living dead who once shared this life. Uh, she has prayers and stuff in here. And she, I, I'm not sure if she has prayers to the Orisha in here. I'm not sure. And uh, she talks about Haiti in here. But you know what? 
what I see in here, she talks more about the Orisha in, in this book. She talks more about the Orisha than she do about the Voodoo deities. But I had a sister to tell me that it's all the same thing, you know. And, and when you look at, at some of these deities, when you look at Voodoo, uh, Voodoo has a lot of deities. I mean, it, it really does. It, and then Orisha is the same way. They even have some deities that you never heard of before. And then some of the deities is in Voodoo, is in uh in in, in the Orisha. You know, you the some of the same deity. So uh it, it, it it's a trip. That's why I say this stuff it, it interlocks and intertwines. So I had one sister, because me and her was talking about it, and she was just like, you know what? It's the same thing. That's what I think. That's how I look at it because Doing a study on it, the more, the closer that you look at, at these deities and, and you look at the similarities, it is so easy, you know, because people, the ATRs re, re, get really upset when you mix the Orisha with the Voodoo. They get really upset about that. But it's so many similarities in it, I don't see the difference. This is it's just like that. That's the only way I can explain it to you. It's so many similarities. I don't see the difference. And, and and the more you look at Voodoo, and the more you look at the, the, the Orisha, and you look at the ATRs across the board, there are too many similarities for it to be different. And you'll, you'll see them talk about the Lukumi, you'll see them talk about Santeria, but all of these are in honor of these Orisha of the, or the Voodoo deities. All these, even though they, they have formed these religions on top of these deities, basically that's how I look at it. They have four, but it's the same deities. But when you tell them, like, I could say, uh, I could be talking about Ifa, and, and then I can mix in a tradition, a, a, a ritual from Lukumi or something, and, and, and an ATR person would get upset. They'd be like, that's two different things, but Lukumi is different from, you know, that, that would make a, a rep or Apollo, uh, uh, Apollo, um, I can't, uh, I can't pronounce it, but the Paul is different from that. They always make a reference, but yet it's the same deities. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, that's why I say be careful with these religion because it, these deities don't, don't, don't have a religion. These are just traditions of these people, uh, traditions they have created to communicate with these deities. You know, that's, that's what that is. I, I that's just, that's my take on it. But, um. Uh, yeah, she talks about that, and you'll notice too, in most of these books that you read, you're going to run into all the ATRs, they are going to majorly focus on ancestors. You're going to have to do a lot of ancestors work on, in your spiritual development, because this is about healing your DNA. This is about healing your DNA, healing your family lineage, you know, sending out love, correcting uh, the things, you know, and then fulfilling the promises that your your ancestors were supposed to do. You're supposed to fulfill that. It's not supposed to stop. It's your responsibility, you know. Once you become aware of that, that is your purpose. It, it's the, and, and, and it's just going to keep happening. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. Uh, and, and we understood that, you know. New Age is now beginning to understand it because that's, now they're trying to get into more of these uh, neo-paganism, when you see uh, names like neo-paganism, they're talking about a religion uh, that kind of predates paganism. And the only thing that, you know, this term, I hate these terms because they're just really confusing. But uh, they're talking about indigenous spiritual practices, aboriginal spiritual practices. They're talking about our ancestors. And you're seeing a lot of them being initiated into the ATR. So you're going to see a lot of that going on. You're going to see a lot, a lot of them trying to Go, go into our spirituality. And that's a lot why it's been diluted because a lot of them is going in there putting their own spin on it and then selling it back to us, you know. Uh, so be careful out there. That's the only thing I have to say. Be careful with that. Um, she also talks about uh, the altar circle. She talks about creating an altar circle for yourself. So if you're interested in fellowship, and doing something more elaborate, because I know most of us are used to religion, some type of ceremony to uh, honor God and, and honor the universe. We're used to some type of ceremony. So she tells you uh, how to create a, a, a altar circle. Uh, she tells you how to create an altar circle 
and get your 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 uh your spiritual worship on. And and let me see. Let me have some more things I wanted to show you. Uh, she talks about uh she talks about also the people of Africa as far as the guy uh, uh the Fa uh the homie Yoruba so she talks a little bit about that as well uh she talks about nature how it's important for you to get back into nature and and you know she and she has rituals in there for that I think uh, is this the place where I'm just trying to see something. That's a really short chapter. But she has prayers and stuff in here to help you connect uh, with nature. She has prayers and all types of remedies and stuff. Uh, and this, this would be good for you women. It's, uh, she has prayers and stuff in there for that. And, you know, she has, like I said, she got prayers all through here. And I think her name is Lucia, Lucia Tish. And she, you know, you can look her up. She does some uh, some interviews, media interviews on, on YouTube. So you can look her up, look up those interviews as well. Uh, but what I didn't like about this book. I'm going to tell you what I didn't like about it. I have to tell you that if you're going to get the book. She talks to me. She talks a lot about herself. You know, I'm interested in knowing more about your experience, just your spiritual experiences, you know, I, and what you've learned. I just felt like it was more of a biography. You know, I feel like this is more of a biography. So, uh, but it was helpful stuff in here. It was helpful stuff in here. I found helpful stuff in here. But the only thing I didn't like about it, I think she just, to me, she just talked a little bit uh, <clears throat> too much about herself. I think, I just, that's my opinion. Okay, I just, in my own opinion. You might read it and, and like all the stories that she's telling. I just thought they were irrelevant because I was looking for information. You know, rituals and, and her, her experience with the ritual, you know, things of that nature. But she's talking a little bit more about her personal life in here. But like I said, it's good information in here. Uh, in between, you know, her talking in between this. It's good information in here. Uh, but I will advise you to read it. I would advise if you're a newbie and you need a how-to and you're trying to set up rituals and prayers and you're trying to relate to someone, uh, get this book, Jambalaya, it's a good book, okay, I hope, you know, get this book, I, I liked it, you know, I did like it, uh, I got some more books, I'm gonna come to you with another review, like I said, I'm not gonna keep this video long, because I want you to be able to, when you look it up, I want you to be able to come back, and if you need to make a reference, or you don't remember, you can always just come back and, and look at like, okay, I know what you're talking about now. But, uh, yeah, I got some more book reviews to do. And I'm going to do them. I'll be back in a minute. Um, if you're, uh, if it's some, a subject you want me to talk about, a topic, you know, leave them in the comments. I, we can talk about it. If I don't know about it, uh, you know, I'll research or read some books on it or whatever. And they will discuss it. But thank you so much for watching. Light and love. And may the ancestors be with you.